Just a quick recording to show how to set up UCNC for probing uh, if you guys are having issues trying to get it to work. The first thing you need to do is go into your settings, into here, into configure plugins, and just make sure that probing here is enabled on startup. Exit out of that. Uh, after you do that, you'll need to shut down UCNC and restart it again to make sure that's enabled. The next thing we do after that is home the machine. Uh, no probing cycle will work without the machining being homed. Uh, my machine is already home, so my next step from that would be to go and set up the probe. Um, in your settings, in your input output trigger setup, You'll see here there's probe pin 1 and probe pin 2. I've got two probes on one machine. Um, one is normal just uh, conductive touch probe, the other one's a, um, a proper 3D probe. So I've got those of both those pins and the ports are signed. Uh, in my case, one is active low and one is active high, just the way the probe works. Um, from there, go to our diagnostics. We test each probe. So if you look at the IO monitor, I5 is flashing and probe is flashing when it's first. With my other probe, it's an I6 and it activates. So that's all working. To actually do our probing routine, first we need to do a setup. Um, in here, you've got your probe diameter you're going to be using. Uh, in my case I'm using a touch probe that's got an effective diameter of 5.1mm, so I'll enter that in. Now to do your simple probe. First thing you do is go into simple probe, activate it so the green lights up. Set your probe direction you're going to go, in this case we're going to do a Z probe, and I'm probing down, and I want it to be at, go a maximum of 50mm. So it's minus 50 because it's downwards, and if it goes f further than that, it'll stop probing and give up. Um, in here we've got a gauge height which is our thickness of this particular touch plate. If you weren't using a touch plate that would be zero. In this case it's five mil. So I want to zero that axis and I want to make the, the count, the gauge height count. If I didn't want to make that I'd just delete it. You also need to set up your speeds initially. So in my case I'm probing at a fast level of 150 millimeters a minute and then for your second touch probe, dropping down to 20 millimeters a minute. And I've got a back off distance of 2 mil between probes. Alright, so the first thing we do is press start probe. You can see the probe come down. It touches, backs off 2 mil, and then goes does a slow probe. So that's your basic Z, uh, simple probe. You can do that in any axis. You can do it in Y axis, X axis, or any rotational axis if you want to. The next probe I tend to do is a corner probe. So we'll go and turn over the corner. And down to where I need to be for a starting point. Now in this case, my thickness in the X and Y direction is 15 mil. So I've entered that. Uh, all these settings are saved for each individual probe type you're using. So, but it only saves when you exit out of UCNC. So once you've got everything set up, exit out, come back in, and it's, it's saved for next time. So in this case, I've got a gauge height of 15. I've still got my probe diameter of 5.1. I want to zero the probe axis, so it's going to zero the X and Y that I'm going to probe. I'm going to use a count gauge, so it, it, it accounts for that 15 mil thickness in the X and Y direction and also accounts for the 5mm probe diameter thickness. So, it, so we enable this axis 1 count diameter and axis 2 count diameter. My probe is moved down to below this level. Um, this here is the distance it's going to move. And you need to make sure you enter after each one it doesn't, doesn't hold. The probe is going to move in the 25mm in the y direction positive to the probe and 25mm in the x direction to the probe. And from this it will do the x first then the Y. So we start the probe. 
goes over and does the extraction and it's set so we lift up we go x naught y naught in the MVI it pulls over that zero position now in this particular touch top probe I have it has a hole in the center that lines up exactly with the cutouts. So I can also do a probe on a circle. To do that one we go circle inner, move our probe down so it's below the level of the surface. Uh, I want to move 40mm maximum in both x and y direction. We don't need a gauge height here because we're probing a circle and we don't actually need a probe diameter height, a diameter, but I keep it enabled anyway. Uh, it automatically compensates for that in, in the probing. So I'll hold the touch patch as we move. We start probing. Okay, one direction first, then the other. Find the center point of those two, then probing the other axis. Exactly the centre. If we go up, you can see it has found the exact centre of there. This same program routine can be used for all these. Um, you select which corner you want to go to to probe from. You can do an inner corner, an outer rectangle, circle the outer of a rectangle and you can also do an angle probe where we come in um, I select the angle, I want to do an 85 more probe, we're going to the Y and the positive 40 and we're going to go 85 across um, so we'll start that probe and show you what that looks like So my voice at the moment, because I've just roughly thrown on, is point, minus 0 0.083 degrees out of true. Uh, which is handy because you can use this for uh, rotational G68. Uh, I actually use it for setting up my voices when I want to set them up um, properly. Uh, we can also measure inside of a pocket, outside of a pocket, uh, where your clearance angle slip dimension C is this point here. Um, and I've also got another video about using the reference probe as workpiece, which we can leave for another time. Thank you.